Funko Pop Addicts, we're about to go on a brand new Funko Pop hunt. Before we get into it, I want to give you guys a heads up. There's this huge sale going on at FYE. You got Funko Pops for like $2.99, $4.99, like the Daryl Dixon Easy Street exclusive from The Walking Dead. So many Funko Pops. I will link that in the description box below. Also, the LeBron James in the white uniform is available there on pre-order. That link will take you right there. Just wanted to look out for you all. And... We're gonna go on this Funko Pop hunt. Hopefully you can find some exclusives, some chases. Let's get into it. DJ Dallas. All right, all right, all right. We are at Target. One of my favorite comedies, Trading Places. They've got this Home Alone pack still, which is awesome. I did a review on this. They got these new Lord of the Rings Funko Pops. This one is sick. That translucent, really awesome looking. This one's out of here too. Love this movie, love Lord of the Rings. I actually have the original books, like the original, original books from my mother that I have now. So cool. Mr. Al Bundy. They got Steve with the demo dog. Got some It right here. <laughs> it's crazy. They got the Chuck Norris Funko Pop just loose here. That's crazy. I don't know if I want it though. I kind of do, but I'm trying to be pickier with my Funko Pop pickups. I love how he got them two Uzis up. Bang bang. Die Hard. Brady Bunch. They got a ton of this Aquaman. This pack. Oh, this one's got no plastic. Let's open it up, right? Let's see what's inside. Why not, right? If it's already open. Got the pop. Pop is kind of cool. Got a pen. Mirror. And this too. What do you think for $24.99? What do you think? You think it's worth it? Leave it in the comments. We also got Ted DiBiase, Reza, Ramon. Love this pop. That's dope one. V. Let's break up out of here. Right way at GameStop. Still got this. This is an awesome one. Glows in the dark. Fire. This one's pretty dope. I just don't got the room for all these big Funko Pops. This one's sick though. Love this one. Aquaman. Never seen this. This one's kind of awesome. Great details. Rick and Morty. You got the Luce Libre, Nacho Libre, Funko Pop. There's a chase to this. Oh, he's got the mask. Really dope. But they don't have that here. I see they got all the new Modern Family. Jay, Gloria. I think there's a chase for Gloria too. Mitch. Cam. Claire. We got to ping up here. That's about it here, I think. Let's go to the next store. We got Bonds and Nobles. Bond, look at that. They got Vince. Love his work. Martin, love his work. I actually have the three pack on this one. But I'm thinking about maybe getting this one because I love Breaking Bad. I don't know though. Me get it. We shall see. Let's see what else they got here. This movie was so awesome. If you haven't seen it, see it. So good. I think that's about it. I don't, I don't see anything else that I really want that's jumping at me. All right, we are at Box Lunch. Let's see what they got here. They got that flash pack. For you Flash fans, I like the Flash, but I'm good with that. Toy Story exclusive. That's a dope one. They got the Captain Crunch, and he's got the sword. This one, to me, is way better than the Target exclusive. But I already got the Captain Crunch Target exclusive. This All right, we are at Walgreens. Ooh, we got Chase. 
Yes! Man, love it. I love the feeling of finding a chase. It's the best. <laughs> See what else they got. I love this pop. Box is so bad though. I hate The Last Jedi. I'm sorry. Last Jedi, man. Breaks my heart, man, as a Star Wars fan. So bad. Let me know how you guys feel about The Last Jedi. This guy was great on Rogue One. I love Rogue One. This guy was awesome, too. But we got a chase, man. We got a chase in the wild. All right, we're at this McKay's bookstore. And um, I heard they had Funko here, so I was driving past it. Had to stop by. Rick Grimes, the man. This is a dope pop right here. They got a bunch of like little figures here. Walker. Some Funko Pop. Oh, this is a dope one. Game of Thrones. Oh, shit. Governor? Alright, so we're back at the house. My battery died. And I got the governor for 95. Not bad. I mean, the value of this dude is about 25, 30 dollars in the box. I don't mind having them out of the box because I'm working on eventually doing an out of the box display, and he will be perfect for that because I want to do one with like a whole bunch of the Walking Dead characters. So as I was finding him, I was looking more and I found two more Walking Dead Funko Pops each for that same price. Bang! We were able to get Merle and Dal Dixon. Definitely some scores right here. Merle goes for about $30 also. And I've seen Merle out of the box going for about $20. So it was a good buy for $4.95. This Daryl, not really worth the money, but I don't really buy Funko Pops just on what it's worth. I mean, I like to talk about what it's worth just so like we could put all that in perspective when it comes down to like on the hunt and seeing if we did good. So this was my first pickup and I'm glad I stopped by that bookstore. It was really cool actually in there. They had tons of retro games and unfortunately my camera the battery died. So I wasn't able to film a lot in there, but I will go back to that store definitely. And please leave comments, thumbs up the video, and let me know, you know, that you guys like these vids so I continue to do it. I noticed that there hasn't been as much love as far as with the thumbs ups lately. I'm just trying to evaluate what the majority of this channel enjoys watching. So that feedback is much appreciated and that thumbs up love right there. Show it. So, the next pickup we got, we got the legendary director, Vince, very famously known for Breaking Bad, which I absolutely love, and I'm happy to have this in the collection. Really, really happy to have it. Had to get it. I mean, I've watched Breaking Bad probably three times. I'm talking the entire series, so you already know. If someone's going to watch the whole entire series three times... That's how much I love it. And I need to get Gus. If anyone has Gus and wants to do any kind of trades, hit me up on my Instagram at Real DJ D E L Z, Real DJ Dells, or Dells Toy Show. Those are my Instagrams and um, more Funko Pop stuff on the Dells Toy Show Instagram. But definitely very happy to have this one in the collection. And the last pickup, I got the Catwoman Chase from the DC Comics bombshells. Definitely such a thrill finding these things in the wild. I mean, the, the feeling when you just go to the store and you see it there on the shelf, it really is just such an awesome feeling. It's cool when you order a pop online and you open up the box, but to me, the ultimate rush with this Funko Pop collecting ting is when you go to the stores and you run into it. Just so much fun. Awesome pop. The difference between this one and the common is the common has her in a black dress. This one has her in a purple dress. Those are some of my other chases from DC. Got the Riddler. That was actually my first chase I ever got, the Riddler. And then we got the Joker, 8-Bit. 
but this one definitely is another one that we caught in the wild and that concludes today's pickup video i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what you like that i showed you guys in this video if you didn't see my video yesterday of my top 10 of 2018 definitely watch it i worked so hard on the video i ended up showing like probably over 30 pops that released this year and man i really worked really hard on it so i would love for you guys to check out the video because i think you'll really love the video it's more of the me just trying to put out good content for you all to enjoy so i'd love for you to watch it if you haven't i'll put a link in the description box below plus a pop-up somewhere on the screen and there'll be a bunch of other stuff in the description box for you to check out like some upcoming pops you could pre-order some that are available now and my funko pop inspired t-shirt check all that out thanks for tuning in and happy new year we out